Welcome back, Michelle. Who's ready to take on quarter three? I know I am. We are halfway through the year. Can you believe that, Abby? I can't. This year is flying by. We have a short broadcast for you this week. So let's get right into it with a special report from Sevi. The National Honor Society is proud to announce that we have kicked off a peer tutoring program. Anyone is welcome to attend a session if they would like some extra help from a peer. There are sessions every Monday and Thursday at 2.30 p.m. in room 216. On Monday, there are tutors for algebra, physics, biology, English, history, and Spanish. And on Thursday, there are tutors for geometry, biology, chemistry, English, history, and French. You do not need to sign up. You can just drop by. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at 2022 smast at Thanks, Sevi. At Ashoba's first story slam this past Monday, six storytellers went head-to-head -head in a live performance competition. Rounds of applause rang through the auditorium as two students, freshman N. Chandley and sophomore Yi Chang, tied for first place. Congrats to all of our storytellers, and thank you to all of the students who served as judges. To learn more about similar events and hear more excellent stories, stop by the Creative Writing Club, which meets every Monday afternoon at 2.30 in room 204. Now let's move on to the question of the week with a new twist with Beckett and Andrew. Hi. This week, Question of the Week is a little bit different. Instead of one question, we're going to be asking everyone a different question. So stay tuned. Should be fun. This is the great Mr. McCarthy. Um, we have a very good question for you today. Uh, who is your favorite musician? Ooh, all time? All time. Um, I'm going to go with Miles Davis. Miles Davis, that's excellent. Thank you so much. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. What do you think? I don't know. I think a lot of things. Think a lot of things? Like what? Uh, I think of Nordic skiing. Nordic skiing. Hey, shout out. Mr. Berthium, are you teaching? Yeah. Were you in a metal band? No. Thank you. Yes. Jasper, walk with me here. Yep, I will walk with you. Uh, who is your favorite band of all time? My favorite band of all time. I've got a bunch, but I'd have to go with Van Halen. Van Halen? Okay, give me top three then. Top three. Top three is Van Halen, uh, Dire Straits. Beautiful. And uh, probably Journey. I love Journey. Journey, God. Just like uh, Dr. Tolson's class, freshman year. Oh, yeah. Gotta yeah. love it. All right, sounds good. Excellent. Hi, I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A lot. A lot, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Sol. Sol, uh, what's your favorite band? The Beatles. That's awesome, thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, Ms. Foley. Mm. Who is your favorite class ever and why is it us? <laughs> My favorite class would have to be the journalism broadcast class. Why? Because you're so awesome and creative and you've taken this broadcast to the next level. And we don't stress you out True. at all. You don't, uh, yeah, you don't stress me out Never, all. never stressed. Never stressed. Never stressed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hi, Miss Landry. Hi, how are you today? What is good? <laughs> how are you? I'm good, thank you. What is your go-to sandwich? Oh, I love a good falafel wrap. That sounds very good. Yes. Especially now I'm hungry. Yeah. So good. What are you doing? Watching. Nice. What's yeah. Your What's your favorite oh, movie? movie? Cars. That's a good movie. And now on to a feature report with Jack Peterson. Thank you. Two weeks ago, Neshoba Deca traveled to UMass Lowell to compete in the regional Deca competition. There are three different sections to this first round, solo role play, team role play, and written events. For individual role play, Liam Owen placed first for his category, Ben Hubbard, Mark Iyer, Lexi Goodwin placed second for their category, and Avery Fromer placing third for their category. For team role play, Maura Hall, Amelia Hoffler, Eric Fish, Chase McClintock, Will McPhail, Nico Cerrone, Beckett Story, and Max Zhao all placed first in their respective categories. Sam London, Spencer Smith, Marcus DiBello, Casey McKenna, Jack Lagarde, and Nate Maynard placed second. In third, Connor Salmon, Sophia Cunningham, Flo Abdu, Dan Augustine, Nolan Bush, and Aylan Oberlees. And finally, for the written event, John Terriol, Liv Early, Claire Hone, Larissa Oliveira, and Maya Tadmore came in first, with Liv Barrett, Bridget Craddy, Avery Hallberg, Drew Murphy, Luke Pavia, and Jesse Jaltima 
placing second. And Ava Gregg, Kylie Doherty, Caitlin Matthews, Mason Bowie, Nathan Machado, and Ryan Sweeney coming in third. Overall, 112 Neshoba students made it to states. Congratulations to all the finalists and to everyone who participated. Now, back to Abby and Reagan. Thanks, Jack. And congrats to everyone who competed. I can't wait to hear how amazing people do at states. Now, let's head over to Jesse for arts and entertainment. Class plays are back on April 8th. This year, each class has the opportunity to raise some money. Here's how it's going to work. Each class has been assigned a raffle basket theme. Sophomores are staycation, juniors are cooking and baking, and seniors are game night. All the money earned from your raffle basket goes entirely to your class. Your class officer is in charge of your raffle basket, so reach out to them with any questions. The donation deadline is March 25th, so start donating soon. Now, back to Reagan and Abby. Thanks, Jesse. Class plays are always fun. I totally agree. And now you can raise money for your class. And don't forget that the grade with the most audience members will win 100 Neshoba Cup points. Now let's head over to Hayden for a review. On January 21st, the first half of the fourth season of Ozark dropped on Netflix. Jason Bateman, Laura Linney, and Julia Garner are the three stars of this thriller, and all three of them turn in Oscar-worthy performances. The story follows Marty Bird and his wife Wendy, who depart their comfortable lives in the heart of Chicago with the Ozark Lakes region of Missouri. The move was forced by a money laundering operation gone wrong, which leads them to starting a bigger laundering operation with the Mexican cartel. This includes opening a new casino and starting rival rivalries with the local Langmore and Snell families, as well as the Kansas City Mafia. Now Marty's work with the cartel continues, and his relationship with Garner's character, Ruth Langmore, continues to fray. With no set release date for part two of season four, there is plenty of time to binge the first three and a half seasons. Now back to you, Abby and Reagan. Thanks, Hayden. I've already watched the first three seasons and loved it. How about you, Reagan? I haven't watched them yet, but Hayden has convinced me. I guess I know what you're doing this weekend. Yeah, sorry, I'm busy. Now let's head over to Sophia for the regional report. Thanks, Reagan and Abby. I have a really cool announcement for all Neshoba students and staff. Our Neshoba News Broadcast is introducing a new segment called the Teacher Feature. We really wanted to recognize all of the awesome things our teachers are doing. Scan the QR code on our flyers around the school and let us know which teacher you'd like to recognize. It could be something cool they're doing in the classroom, something they're doing after school with a club or a sport, or maybe they're just an awesome person. This new segment is open to the whole district, so we hope to hear from the middle and elementary schools as well. We can't wait to see your submissions. Now to Hayden and Alex with sports. Hi, I'm here with Hayden. And I'm here with Alex. And today we'll be talking about sports. In very positive news, spectators will now be allowed at home basketball games with determination on hockey to be announced. In trouble, boys hockey finds themselves at 10-1-0 atop their division. They picked up a key win this past Saturday night against Northbridge, and they clinched a playoff berth. The Shoba Boys basketball fell short on Monday night against St. Paul, but they're off to an 8-3 start on the season. Both boys and girls basketball will take on West Road tonight and at TD Garden on Sunday afternoon against Algonquin. Girls Swim and Dive lost on Tuesday night 78-90 against Westboro. Alpine Ski found themselves victorious against Bedford High this past week, with strong performances from Eric Fish and Ella Varnerman. This weekend, both conferences' championships for the NFL playoffs will take place. In the AFC, Cincinnati will travel into Kansas City, hoping for a strong performance from Joe, Joe Burrow in his first conference championship game. And on the NFC side, the underdog San Francisco 49ers will travel south to face Matthew Stafford's Los Angeles Rams. The winners of these two games will go on to face each other in the Super Bowl, and the losers get nothing. Who do you think is going to win the AFC championship? Well, you know, I can't pick against Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, so i got to stick with the Bengals. Well, that's all for sports. Now back to Reagan and Abby. Great job, Wolves. Well, that's all we have for this week's broadcast. Until next time. And as always, roll, roll pack. pack.